Now, we, we've been talking about red cell transfusion. And again, I come back to, I'm, I'm just amazed at the progress that's been made. I was taught, be careful with transfusions. You don't want to give people hemochromatosis. Watch out. And now you're telling me, you know, if you keep their crits up and you suppress erythropoiesis, maybe this is a good thing. So what are the indications then for chronic red cell transfusion? So typically in, in childhood, if you have the most severe form, beta zero, beta zero, you don't have a choice. You're, you become progressively more and more anemic. A hemoglobin level could drop to three or four and you need transfusions. And that, that, those transfusions then need to be continued to sustain that hemoglobin level. That's life-saving transfusions. Absolutely. And then when you, when you talk about those intermediate patients who are, have the beta plus mutations, that, then it depends on the severity of the anemia and also all of the other effects it's having. Okay. So is it in interfering with growth and development? Is it interfering with your quality of life and ability to do normal things like going to school? Is it causing major bone changes, both cosmetic as well as, as osteoporotic? Um, and you know, then you get to the point of, you know, do you have delayed puberty? Are you not growing and developing normally? And all of those would be indications to, to start regular transfusions. Mm -hmm. And if I may add for our transfusions in thalassemia major, uh, we generally start transfusions very early on because of the severity. Right. But there, for thalassemia intermedia, they may go through, because there's less severe anemia, we know that as they get older, those hemoglo the hemoglobin may drop. They are starting to get this uh, increased ineffective erythropoiesis. So they may move out of a pediatric center, rarely or never having had transfusions. Um, and as, as thal intermedia individuals are getting older, um, it's really important to closely follow them because we now start getting accumulated effects of the ineffective erythropoiesis. So now we're getting complications of paraspinal masses, we're getting uh, hepatosplenomegaly, pulmonary hypertension from the ongoing um, hemolysis, so they are, and severe osteoporosis with fractures. So as they become adults, um, they may, there are still indications where we may need to start transfusions even into adulthood. It's interesting because I get, I get asked, uh, when, when people knew I was coming to do this show, they asked me to ask you, and I think I know the answer, but I'm going to throw it out. Mm -hmm. How often do these patients need transfusions? And I'm going to guess the answer is, it depends. Well, <laughs> it, it, not, not really. No, not, no, not really. Not really. So if you, if you want to keep them as physiologic as possible, yeah. you need to transfuse them every two to four weeks. Even you, the, the most goal, severe one. The goal is to maintain a hemoglobin level pre-transfusion above nine and a half to Got 10. It. But it, it, you said it's the most severe ones. In other words, what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is the severity of the disease yeah. kind of dictates Well, but actually, no, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, actually, uh, this is very important because those patients, as it was uh, said before, those children, who, are, who present uh, within the first year of life uh, with severe hepatosplenomegaly, severe anemia, they are becoming transfusion dependent. Sure. So, so that's it. There are some patients, uh, some children, who tolerate uh, eight grams of hemoglobin. So this means that they are able to produce uh, eight, uh, 7.5 grams of hemoglobin. And they don't complain much, but, and so, in the past, now we may, we may revisit uh, this approach, but in the past, I, I can say for myself, uh, I was telling them, oh, you are lucky, you have a thalassemia intermedia, you don't have a thalassemia major. Now that I see this patient at the age of 40 with all the complications that she mentioned, I say, oh my God, we should have probably transfused. That's what I heard.